Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. As you can see I've got two and a bit days growth and this will be getting taken off tonight but I am going to do a head shave now. I haven't done a head shave for a while on camera. I just haven't really been head shaving that much if I'm brutally honest. I'm sort of running out of time during the day, I'm exhausted, I'm doing a lot of study for a job which I didn't think would involve much study. So you've got to get sort of stuck in and make the most of the opportunity while you're still in training. So what I'm going to be using today is Elvado shaving products. And this is the Pacific Coast Kahuna shaving cream. Now on here it's got sea moss. I've got absolutely no idea what sea moss really smells like or whether this smells like it all. But what I can tell you is this is quite a nice, sweet cologne type fragrance. And it's got the usual Elvado slickness, great lathering proper properties. If you watch the few, there's a few guys out there in Northern Shaver, I am CDB. I think Paul H recently used it as well. I haven't watched all the videos, I've got to say, I've started watching a few more today, I managed to watch a few this morning, which I enjoyed, I haven't watched many for quite a while, I just haven't had the time, so it was nice to get my name on a few of the comment lists again, and I actually enjoy watching a few shares with some products that are out there, and the particular one that sticks in mind is Manny's class, Classy Shave with all the Aventus scented products from Fine Accoutrements, and I just love Aventus, as you guys know, it's my number one scent. I have just picked up a bottle of Boss, Bottled Intense EDP or Eau de Parfum and it's absolutely I just love the Boss Bottled scent I love it I love the scent as well the actual the scent not the scent of bottled the scent scent <laughs> really nice stuff I do like Boss scents but they still don't come anywhere near the class of Aventus Aventus just blows everything away I do have a couple bottles of Club de Nuit Intense from Armaf on the way which I'm actually quite excited about to have a clone of Creed that's apparently pretty good. But anyway, let's stop dribbling on. This is going to take forever, this shave, I think. I'm going to be using a razor, which doesn't quite cut it, in my opinion, for head shaves. But I'm going to give it a go. Someone asked for me to do it, so I am going to do it. So, the brush for today is more of a still, still breaking this one in sort of shave, so it is starting to feel really nice on the skin. It did to begin with, but it's feeling even better now. And that is the Brush Guy brush. Is it, it's not a brush guy brush, I'm sorry. It's just because I'm not used to the casting and that darn Rob. <laughs> I think he learned a lot from, from Matt Martin over at Brush Guy. The knot that's in here is the AP Shave Co. I think it's a 30% boa, 70% badger, similar to that, or it's 80% boa, 20% badger, uh, back to front, 80% badger, boa, I don't remember. But it's basically, it's, it's a very similar knot to the one that you can get from my guards as well. But very, very nice brush and the actual handle itself is stunning. I don't know, you can, I can never quite capture it on the camera. Although I have to say in the 60 frames per second, which I've got at the moment at 60 FPS, it does tend to work a little bit better. Now, I used this cream yesterday on my waist legs. I used my Wolf Whiskers 30ml and I tell you what, I had to pump six pumps into that brush just to fill the knot up enough that I could lather, it was just, just sucking all the cream in so hopefully I don't need to do that with this but I am going to put three on here today so there's one, two, three just wipe the excess off there, so there's three squirts on the top of the brush there that you can see so that should be enough to get me going at least I might have to add a little bit more natural hair brushes I find do tend to struggle with head shaves for me because it sits in the brush for quite a long time while I'm shaving and for some reason it just sort of dissipates and doesn't last very long so that's just a, an observation from my point of using natural hair brushes so let's just rub that straight on there I've just squeezed the excess out of the brush as well and let's just see what sort of lather we can build up Oop. that's one way just fixing my there we go lovely my mirror over behind me so I can see what I'm doing on the back of my head now this brush does have lovely scrub but I find the Smog Owners Club that I've got which is also, a, well it's the Caravella not that's in there, 50% Boar, 50% Badger has got it's stiffer 
but it still has lovely tips on it. And I just find when you've got longer hair, which I've got about 10 days growth at the, right now when I'm doing this shave, 10 days growth, and I'm going to be using a razor, which is really going to struggle today, big time. Yeah, it's a lovely scent. It's almost, it's got a sort of cool waters. It's definitely got a cool waters sort of scent to it from Davidoff. I'm not saying that's what he was going for, and I don't think that Davidoff cool waters is supposed to smell like, well, sea moss. Sea moss doesn't sound like a very appealing sort of scent, if I'm honest. But the actual scent on this is really nice. Now, I have used this for a face shave, not from this bottle. Now, when I got this bottle, it's a pump bottle, they are great. This one wasn't working. So I messaged John, who is the principal and owner and creator of El Vado, just to let him know. And he asked me to take the lid off it, take this part off the top, and put it back on and see how I go. Now I did that and it didn't work. But what I did notice, I'll just show you, on this, where this clear bit meets the white bit, it was actually stuck up quite high on one side. So when I took this top cap off here, I basically just put it flat on a table and I just pushed down hard and it pushed it back level. Now as soon as I did that, put the lid back on, I put the pump pump part back on, it burst into life straight away. So I think there was maybe just a bit of an air gap happening and it was stopping the, the pump bolt from actually working the way it should. So I put three pumps on here and as you can see it's, it's needing a lot of water so I probably over over creamed this one but that's okay I'd rather have more than less And one thing I know from experience is it's a lot harder to build a thick, luxurious ladder when you've got a lot of hair in your head or on your face. It's hard to sort of get some volume in there. For some reason, it, the hair stops you from doing that. Now, this is also a brushless cream. Great for travel. Now, if you can't, be bothered taking your brush with you, you know you, you don't have much time. Just pop this in your travel kit, and when you get there, you just whip it on your face or on your hair, and away you go. A little bit of water, it does have incredible slickness. Right, the supply razor. Now, I used this in a face shave, and then I used it on a head shave, and the head shave was dreadful. I didn't have a good day that day, I wasn't, I think the cream or the soap I used as well reacted to my skin which didn't help. This is the same blade that I put in this back in December. So I'm not expecting anything spectacular and the chances are that I'll probably have to go to another razor. But I'm going to give this a go. So here we go. With the supply razor. Well, that surprised me straight away. I hope you can see that. You can see how that's taken that hair clean off. It's extremely smooth. Yeah, let's like say I had an absolute nightmare the first time I used this on my head, but surprising results, it really is. Taking into account it's about 10 days growth on you. Now yes I will have to buff with this razor because it is so mild. It's got a very distinct audible feedback as well. Yeah, 
It'll be interesting to see how it fares against the green. I'm about to go against the green now. And I'm not expecting windows, but let's just see. I'm just going to go directly against the green. Let's just see what this does. You can see it's definitely taking hair off. But is it doing the trick? Let's see, I'm going to have to be doing a lot of this. It will need a lot of buffing because it's such a mild razor. But it's doing an okay job. It's not too bad. The lather is helping because this stuff is so slick. And like I say, this is about the, the tenth or eleventh shave I think on this blade. Same blade. Head shaves do require a bit more than what a face shave does in terms of actual how long the blade's on your skin and how much hair it has to cut. But this is doing okay. It would probably make a big difference. I'm just going into this water. It sinks full already. Full crap. One thing I say about this razor is it's a very safe razor. You know, if you're not too confident with a DE or any other style of razor like this, single edge or whatever it is, it's very comfortable to use, very comfortable to hold. It's quite heavy, so when you're doing stuff against the back of your head and things like that, yeah, especially with, I've got sort of weaker shoulders, they're quite weak at the moment because I've had them in handcuffs a lot over the last couple of weeks. doing an okay job and to see how many uses I've had out of this one blade it's pretty impressive got to say now take for instance the one blade which aesthetically does look nicer than this if I'm honest aesthetically the one blade looks better than most razors on the market it just does it looks incredible it's very comfortable in the hand as well I used to get one face shave out of a blade, sometimes two. It was very touch and go whether I got two or not. This is doing a pretty damn good job. The thing I love about this razor is, oh, you can see the amount of crap in there. It's just. Hello! What are you swatting? Hi, just saying hi. Okay. You're going now? Yeah. You need to go to the crab face. I thought you were going to shave your beard. I can't Don't forget no. to check out Eminem Madness. That's our YouTube channel. Yeah. On, what is it, mate? You got enough cream on? Are you sure? Yeah. You look like a, you look white, mate. Completely white. Snowman. Snowman. Yeah. Right, come on. Your back of your head looks like a snowman. Does it? Bye. 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 So we're actually off to Mandra Crab Fest today. For you guys around the world, I've never heard of it. It's literally what I say. It's a festival celebrating crabs. 
Mandra is well known, probably the world over really, definitely in Australia, for the blue mana crab, which is pretty much a, a seafood delicacy. <laughs> it's really nice. It's a, it is a, I think it's a sort of crossbreed crab, I don't know how it works, but I think they breed, I think they breed in natural, in river water. Which is it's, it's no salt in it, but they actually live in the salt water. It's, uh, I think I'm not 100% sure, don't quote me on it. I should know more about it considering it is where I live, but I don't. But I do like it here. So every year we have the crab fest, and this year we've actually got some pretty good music acts. I can't remember who was here last night, but she actually won Australia's Got Talent 2012, and today we've got Eskimo Joe playing. And if you haven't heard of Eskimo Joe, and did Black Fingernail, Red Wine, those are the songs that they did. Sarah. I can't remember the ones. But they're a pretty big, well known band for over here anyway. I don't know how big they are worldwide now, but I'm pretty sure some people will have heard of them. They are a good band. Live. I haven't went to see them live, but I have watched them live on YouTube and stuff like that. They're not the best, but. It'll be good to go and watch them. My son's taking a, the youngest, has taken a real liking to music at the moment. He's singing all the time and wants to listen to music and so it's, which is good. Right, first pass done and it did surprisingly well. So let's get stuck in with this brush again and just see how well the lather comes out. So as I was saying, whenever I use a bowl brush or a magic brush, so that's just literally it looks like there's nothing in the brush now, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop just one pump on the brush. So, had I been using a synthetic brush, I probably wouldn't have had to do that. Synthetics generally tend to be better at saving your lather. I don't know how it works, I don't know how the natural hair brush does it, but it does eat into your lather, it gets rid of it, it, it sort of dissipates while it's just sat there on the brush. Lovely scrub this, no, it really has. Oh, and this was also re knotted. So, this I think Reyes Restores bought this handle and then didn't like it, or for whatever reason, didn't put a knot in it. I think so. He re knotted that for me with the AP shape on it. This didn't come direct from, from Rob Moffat over at that darn Rob, so it was actually a re knot from Reyes Restores. And he did a fine job of it, like always. And I've got some exciting stuff in the pipeline. Shaving related. I don't know how long it's going to take to come to fruition. I'm not going to speak about it until it happens or anything else, with it, but it's quite exciting for me anyway. Now this is where I think this razor is actually going to struggle. It might not. It feels pretty good. I'm still going to need touch-ups. Definitely need touch-ups with it, but it's doing better than I thought. Doing way better than I thought it would. This video is still going to be very long, excuse me, because at the end of the day I'm going to have to buff everywhere I go with this razor now because it is so mild. But the great thing with it is it's mild but it's comfortable and it doesn't really irritate your skin much. It doesn't matter what you shave with, you will irritate your skin. It's an impossibility to shave and not irritate your skin. But it's about keeping the, the irritation to a minimum. I used to say that I had no irritation whatsoever when I get a shave with no sting or anything like that and no redness and no pain or anything like that. But there's no doubt about it, it doesn't matter what you shave with 
how long it takes you to shave, how close or how unclose the shave is, what products you use, you will irritate your skin, it is part, part of the shaving process. And it's down to these co companies like this to make razors that are so well built, so smooth and so comfortable that the irritation is kept to such a minimum that you don't realise or you don't feel any irritation. And that's what it's all about. Getting through a shave, irritation, free as you can. As you can see, well, you can't see, but I'm having to really buff a lot. Now you can hear the, well I can certainly hear it, I can hear the, the reduction in audible feedback. You can see the, the amount of hair it's pulling off. So it's doing a great job. Is it a razor I would use every day for head shaves? Probably not, but I tell you what, it would actually benefit an everyday head shaver in terms of you're not going to have a lot of hair on there if you're an everyday head shaver and because this is such a mild comfortable shaver I can't imagine you would ever get a lot of irritation from it if you shaved it every day now if I went to my above the tie R1 Calypso and used it every single day I have no doubt in my mind I would eventually end up with some form of pretty bad irritation second key factor is obviously your cream and your soap that you use the more protective that is the better the shave's going to be whether you shave every day or not that would be irrelevant if your shaving cream is like this and slick as you like you will end up with good shaves no matter what as long as your blades are sharp and the razor doesn't cause you any irritation, you'll be on top winner. Now this razor is so smooth that it's unreal. It'd be really nice to try a version 2 as well. This is the version 1 supply razor, just to try the two and just see what the difference is, if any at all. Some people don't like it, they find it far too mild. It is mild, I mean it is super mild. I've got this on the second aggression plate, it's the only plate I have for this razor. And it is mild, there's no doubt about it. But it gets there, and it gets me there with as little irritation as I can. And because I don't go against the grain, I don't generally tend to get the same amount of irritation a lot of people get. The good thing with this razor is I can go against the grain, run about my lips and stuff like that on my face, and it doesn't really irritate me. It doesn't really, but because it is so smooth and mild, I can have a real go, and that makes a difference. So let's just wet my head again. Yeah, there's not a lot left on here, I tell you. I'm quite surprised. It's a lovely shave. I can't remember who asked for me to, to try this razor again in my head. It wasn't that long ago. So if you watch it, it'd be nice for you to comment and just let me know what you think. And whether you got a supply razor yourself and you've tried it and had good success with it or no success with it. Like I say, it is super mild. Just dipping the tips a little bit. So that extra squirt of cream has made a difference. You can see the, the lather just building the front of my head here. I don't need a big thick voluminous lather, especially with this cream. I don't watch a lot of CDB anymore. But I did watch this one because I am a, a big fan of Elvado. I love this stuff. I love the scents. I love the fact that they're 90% 90, 90 organic, is it? Let me have a look, let me have a look. I know it says on here somewhere. 100% essential oils, 92% organic, as you can see there. The, the ingredient list is second to none. Avocado and shea butter shaving cream, brush your brushless 100 grams, which is 3.4 ounces, because it's a measured pump. For a face shave, two pumps with a, a synthetic three with a, a natural hair brush, I find works better. So all I'm doing now is just hitting all the same areas again, basically trying to catch anything that I've missed. Which there's a few little bits here and there, but nothing major. 
Let's see, if you've watched my face she head shears before, you'll know that this has taken quite a while. I'm not sure how many minutes I'm up to. Can I see? Can I see? Let me have a look on the scene. I don't know, 20 odd minutes? Can't really see. Sat right in the middle of my phone holder, the, the time limit, the minutes anyway. I can see the seconds going up. It's not reached an hour yet, which is a good thing. But I do enjoy a head shave. I, I love the feeling of BBS. And I do get jealous of you guys out there. All your Kevy shaves, Paul H, Suffolk shaver. That can go against the grain on the face and end up with the same feeling that I get on my head because it feels amazing. It lasts a while. I mean, I'll shave this today and it'll still be pretty BBS this time tomorrow. I'll have very minimal growth come back through. Maybe not with this razor because I don't think this will cut as close as my R1. pretty good job. It's not getting me as BBS as I like, but it's still pretty good. You can hear the difference whenever I hit a little pocket here. It just opens up the feedback on the razor again. And I'm definitely going to feel quite a few spots once I put the moisturising balm on afterwards the aftershave balm because that's when you really start to feel all the those tiny hairs that you don't feel with the slickness of the cream so I'll probably hit it a few times as well but just the balm on my head just to pick up those final little touches It's not going to get anywhere near as close on my crown. I'm still feeling quite a fair bit of growth there. Let's have a look how we feel. Not bad. It's not bad at all. A few little bits here and there. I do find near the base of my neck, right around the back here on this sort of level. The hairs are really, really soft, so that's when something like the R1 or the head blade comes in great because it really picks up that. Let's just see how close I can get on this crown. It's quite a natural intuitive angle as well for head shaving. I was quite surprised there when I did this. I thought I'd have been struggling to find the angle because it's not like holding a, a usual sort of round handle DE razor but it's still very comfortable some people don't like the look of it I have to say when I first got it I wasn't sold on the look of it but it's grown on me definitely And someone mentioned it looks a bit like the old 
refrigerator handle that you would flip up that way to open your fridge and I have to agree it does, it reminds me of that and let's be honest here, who doesn't miss that handle fridge? A bit of class and a bit of style in the fridge so in my opinion makes this razor even more desirable that it looks like a fridge handle How are we feeling? A little bit more of a buff there. And I tell you what, I'm pretty happy with that. That's taken me a while to get there, I've got to say. It's not, it's not been a quick shave by any means. I enjoyed it, I really enjoyed it. A little bit of time. Take your time sometimes, that makes a difference. Splash of hot water and then a splash of cold. happy with that, I've got to say, I, I really am. Now I am going to just pop a little bit, do you know what, I'm not, I'm just going to go bang straight into the, the aftershave bar. I was going to put some witch hazel on, but I'm going to stick stick with the Elvado products. So the aftershave balm is there. Same again, this one is 97% organic, 100% essential oils, and there's your ingredients list if you want to have a look. You can pause it there if you want to have a little read. You can pop onto the Elvado website and have a read as well, he's got all the stuff on there. So I have used this, I used this in my wife's legs yesterday and it was lovely, but for some reason this one's just a little bit thicker, it takes a little bit longer to actually absorb into your skin, which isn't a problem. So one pump I think will be enough for my whole head. Well, surprisingly there's not much. sign of a good quality moisturiser when you can actually shave with it and it feels like soap. Pretty good. Excellent. Rinse my hands off. I'll let that soak in. I'll rinse the brush out. Talk about what I used and hopefully I'll have a bit of a feel of my skin afterwards once it's dried in for a couple of minutes. It's a long video. Sorry. <laughs> the videos have definitely slowed down since I started this training. It's been just sucking the life out of me. And you go from self-employed, working sort of short of days, still earning good money, but working short of days, to back into full-time hours, five days a week, and you're leaving the house at, oh, I'm getting up at sort of five o'clock, 4.35 in the morning, and getting home after six at night, 6.30 usually when I get in. It takes its toll, I can assure you. So I've got three more weeks to go, I've actually only got 13 days left. Because I've got two public holidays left in the last three weeks. And then that's it, done and dusted. I'll be able to walk out. Well, I've still got two weeks on job training. And then after that, chuck your uniform on and bang, away you go. So today we used Elvaro Pacific Coast Kahuna Sea Moss Scented Shaving Cream. Beautiful stuff, brush or brushless. As you've seen, it, it whips up a good lather better in a synthetic brush in my opinion, it doesn't work quite as well in a natural I find, but the slickness is still there, the protection is still there whether it's a voluminous lather or not, and it feels great. So the brush for today was the TDR, that darn Rob, with the 24mm AP Shave Co, mixed badger and bow knot, absolutely stunning brush, worth 
but worth every cent in my opinion. See a lot of Yahtzee brushes out there now, and I'll never buy one. Just not interested, I'd rather just give my money to an artisan that's, that's out there, sort of struggling in an expensive country, trying to make the money. That's just my thoughts on it. The razor, supply razor, plate number two. I can't show you because the plate number's on the inside of this base plate. You can dismantle this, which I do, I dismantle it after every shave and clean it all with a little microfiber cloth. The blade just sits in there, it is an injection razor, so the razor blade injects into that slot there. But let's say this is the same blade that I put in this back on, God, about the 16th of December. It's now March and I've used this razor I think 10 plus times now. I've just done a full head shave after all those uses of it and it's still, I mean I'm, I am BBS. Got a little weeper there is it? I think it's a weeper, I don't know. That feels absolutely sensational. It really does. That is as soft and as smooth and as lovely as you can possibly get. I'm not feeling any, it feels pretty much BBS, which is great. And that was with the Pacific Shaving, Pacific Coast Kahuna from El Vado after shave balm. Shit hot, excellent, excellent stuff. I'm really impressed. I'm sure if you're watching this, look, it's not the cheapest of stuff, but you get what you pay for in this in this day and age, and in especially in wet shaving, you'll pay more for Barristan Man, Holy Core, Sterling, and stuff like that. Are ones they're sort of unique that they still sell stuff at a cheaper price, but still pack it with good stuff. So it's all out there, and most artisans now. In fact, I would say all artisans out there now make a great product. There's not, I haven't come across anything in the two years I've been shaving, or almost two years, that I can say is an absolutely shit artisan product. They've all got the pros and the cons. There's no such thing as a perfect one, but I've come very close with Holy Core. The fella that makes it over here in Western Australia is very close. Even things like Australian Private Reserve, Barrister and Matt, they're all there. They're all close to perfection for what they are, and someone will find them better than others. But there's no one out there that's real shit at the moment, I've got to say. And it's great for competition. It's great for everything, really, in, in terms of weight shaming. So. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you got something from it. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.